Hey, thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. I'm Mark Allen, and today we start a new uh, series of videos called Ad Infinitum. And uh, if you grew up on comics like I did, one of the things that uh, comic book fans such as that can agree upon is that ads were both a disruption at times and a pleasure. Uh, sometimes the ads opened your eyes to uh, to new products you wanted or new comics you wanted, uh, or um, you know they were just funny for for one way or for one reason or another. But um, and then sometimes they interrupted the story. But today, these days, of course, we like looking at the ads and the, especially in the old comic books. We have Chamber of Darkness here, number six, uh, which opens with a great John Buscema story. If you ever uh, you know run across it. But uh, we start right off the uh, the inside front cover with uh, this ad, The End of the Skinny Body, with the uh, kid who supposedly gained 16 pounds in 14 days, but um, actually looks as if they went from shining the light directly on him to directly above him. So I think to use that light and shadow to, um, to uh, create the illusion of more muscle, I always thought uh, those were kind of funny even early on. Uh, here's some ads that uh, uh, blemish his fate as as skin clears, it's good old, even back in, back in the 60s, uh, you know, they needed some uh, acne help, of course. Um, there were a couple of ads here that I was really looking forward to. Also, some Steve Ditko, uh, Steve Ditko story in here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the new, the new club, exciting new club, Marvel Mania International. This was the club that kind of picked up where the Mary Marvel Marching Society left off. And it was, so it came between the uh, MMMS and FOOM, which was in the mid seventies. But anyway, the new, uh, new those, these kind of ads always um, piqued my attention and always liked the cool uh, swag that you could get. And of course these, mo these were actually the monster size monsters. I always wanted to, um, to order one of those and never did. I did, however, order sea monkeys, probably tell that story one day. Um, there's the Steve Ditko story, but uh, there's also at least one other cool ad in here, if I can find it, Grit, did anybody ever sell or read Grit? I didn't, oh the ads, you gotta love the ads, the ads back in the day are so much more interesting than the ads today, oh here we go, um, the, an ad for uh, Stanley's, or not Stanley's, uh, Jim Steranko's History of the Comics, Stan Lee says, it's a blockbuster, I have both volumes of that, very cool, um, especially the, the covers, the double covers, uh, Steranko illustrations all over them, $1.98 uh, per volume at the time, but uh, of course, Steranko cap illustration there, and uh, just a really cool, one of, the, one of those ads that would make you uh, want to buy that, want to order it, uh, and then we also have in this book, we have, it's not an ad, but we have uh, Dick Ayers doing his best Steve Ditko, when I opened that up, especially that pose and everything, I thought, ah, oh, Ditko again, another Ditko story, nope, it's Dick Ayers, I don't know if I said Steve Ayers, but it's Dick Ayers doing his best Steve Ditko, it seems to me. But uh, tell me what you think. But anyway, got to love those ads. Let's see what we have on the back cover here. Anything interesting? Oh, fishing equipment. Always got to love love that. And uh, your your free art test to see if you have any, any uh, art skills. Love the ads. There you go. Nothing better than a Conan ad with Barry Windsor Smith artwork. And uh, yeah, got to love that. So anyway... Ad infinitum. The ads were were always there. They always will be there. But that's half the fun of comics, at least of old comics, not new comics. But uh, anyway, Chamber of Darkness, a great book. Go out there and find it if you can, if you get a chance. But uh, those ads, gotta love those ads. Thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. See you next Ad Infinitum. <laughs>